It kicked off way back in 1927, the first meeting between Yates and Wheatley, which also happened to be Wheatley's first game. Yates would win that first battle, but there would be many more over the next 80 years. My dad, he uh, turned 80 uh, about a month ago, and, and he's a Yates graduate, and he tells me all the stories about the Yates-Wheatley Turkey Day Classic. Current Yates head coach Clarence McKinney, like his dad, a Yates graduate. McKinney quarterbacked the Lions back in 87 and 88. That's McKinney number 10. He knows what it means to beat Wheatley. He learned from his dad what it meant back in the day. I think both teams were having their homecomings during that time, and he tell me the stories about Miss Wheatley coming and homecoming and on the field in a limousine, and Miss Yates upstage and there and coming out in a helicopter. I had never seen anything like that before at a football game. You know, you had the stadium was jam-packed. You had people standing around the tracks. Wheatley head coach Eldred Small, athlete of the year at Wheatley back in 1968. He played against Yates back when the game was played on Thanksgiving Day. He remembers the crowds, the pageantry, the half times. People came from all over the state. Uh, people was flying to the games in helicopters and landing on the field. Uh, you know, getting out there, the helicopters, and it was just an extravaganza there, and I, I loved it. The game was okay, <laughs> but the, uh, the activities before the game and after the game was just, just magnificent. The Lions and Wildcats ready to make new memories tomorrow night. Bob Slovak, 13 Eyewitness Sports.